Hello, good evening. Hello, Eric. Hello, Yaritza. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. <clears throat> It's a pleasure to be with you once again. It's a pleasure to have the opportunity to have another class with all of you and for sure to continue learning, right? Some of you were asking questions about the platform and the things on the platform. We're going to check it on a little bit for us to answer any type of question that you might have about the exercises, right? And if you finish working on the exercises, that's perfect, but we can uh, work a little bit more on each exercise every single day. So tell me, how was your weekend? What did you do? How was your weekend, my dear students? Mr. Eric, how was your weekend? Well, my weekend was relaxed. It was relaxed, right? It was, uh -huh. Because I have a lot of free time and I went to the swimming pool, to the soccer field, and the, the park, to the girlfriend's, my girlfriend's house, and that's it. Okay, you went so to your... You went to your girlfriend's house, right? That's very good. You had a lot of time to do your activities. Ana Beatriz, how was your weekend? Okay, I cannot listen to you right now. No, I cannot listen to you. Okay, so check on check on that one and we can continue later. Jaritza says that, uh, <laughs> good evening, she says on the chat. How was your weekend, Jaritza? Hello, uh, my weekend was very busy. Very busy, very busy. Busy? Uh -huh. What were you doing? Uh, I, I was working. Oh, you were working, right? That makes two of us because I was working too. Right, a lot of things to do. Thank you, Jaritza. Hello, Brenda. How was your weekend? Okay, I can listen to you now. Brendita? Perdimos a Brendita. Perdimos a Brendita. Okay, Elmer, how was your weekend? Oh, ahí está Brenda, volvió. <laughs> Hi, Brenda, how was your weekend? Hello, teacher. Sorry. Don't worry, don't worry. ¿Qué tal tu fin de semana? How was it? Mm -hmm. was this good it was good it was it was good yeah okay it was good elmer salaya um i was a relaxed weekend uh-huh um i was the meat of um work co-workers to my song. Oh, okay. Um, the end class. Ah, it was like the ending of the classes, right? Oh my goodness. So that's a lot of work. Definitely. Good. Yeah. Very good. Excellent. 
Let me see. Who else? I am going to ask one more. Miss Crisia Alvarenga, how was your weekend? Good evening, teacher. Hello. Uh, very busy, very tired, but it's okay. Very busy and tiring, but it was okay. That's fantastic. Thank God that you had the opportunity to, to mention, right, that it's okay, even when it was very busy. Okay. So what we are going to do to start the class, we are going to go over the first section on the platform. So we can actually check that we are doing the things correct. De repente ahí uno que otro me estuvo consultando de, de ejercicios específicos que no podía hacerlo, que la plataforma no le daba, que me saca, teacher, que mire, que el punto, que no sé qué. So we have had a lot of issues on the platform. But we're going to go and check it to see if everything is working well, okay? So we're going to work together on this one. And this has been the most challenging exercise, right? I think it's not this one, right? Okay, it is this one. Okay. So in this one, right? In este ejercicio específico de la plataforma, me confirman si ya lo pueden ver todos. Lo vamos a volver a escribir todo. The thing is that you have to write complete answers. And what is the problem with us as a good Salvadorians? In some cases, we don't read. We don't read the indications. A veces aquí en la indicación está qué tenemos que hacer y no lo leemos. Así que tenemos que tener cuidado con eso. Tenemos que leer las indicaciones de lo que vamos a hacer. In this case, we need complete answers. It says, are you from the United States? And it says, um, no, comma, I am not from the United States, period, okay? No, I am not from the United States. Is your teacher from Canada? So you say no, yes, she is, like La Colonia, Canada, right? No, <laughs> she is not from Canada. Period. The next one is your English class in the morning. So you say no, it is not. Vamos a responder con it is not porque nos estamos refiriendo a la clase, right? No, it is not. Are you and your and your best friend the same age? You say yes, we are the same age. Period. Complete answers, and then you submit the answers, and for sure. This is going to be the answer for this section of the platform, okay? Algunos estuvimos teniendo problemas con ella, pero aquí nos queda para que la podamos realizar de la manera más correcta posible, okay? So, in this section, you have four evaluations, right? The first evaluation was kind of simple because we have here, a, we have to complete the sentence with the possessive adjectives and it says my name what is the option that you have to choose in this case um, is. Is. Is, is right my name is david david gars i am from mexico my my family. my family is in mexico city in this one, my brother is a university student, right? Because you are talking about your brother. My brother is a university mm -hmm. student. In this case, if you are talking about the person, you have her name. Her name it's for yes. girls. His name yes. is for boys. Yes. And our name yes. is para todos. See? Yes. His. His name. In this one, we have... Name is Sun He Park. I am 20 years old. I am 20 my, years old. My, my name my. is Sun He Park, right? In this case, we have my sister is a student She's, here. My sister is a student here too. Or parents are in Korea. In this one, we did it in class. Si se acuerdan, lo hicimos en clase también. I am Elizabeth, but everyone calls me Beth. My last name is Silva. Mm -hmm. I am a student at City College. 
I am a student. My parents, plural, are in Canada. Are in Canada. In on vacation on vacations this week. Okay, so this was one of the first exercises. The next one on the WH questions with B, here we have different options. Let me just, here I have. In this one we have, that's Miss Smith. En la respuesta tenemos a una persona. So remember that where is for places, how is for manners, and who is for people. So you say, who's that? That's Mrs. Smith, right? That is Mrs. Smith. In this one, you have three options, right? Where, what, and who? She's Where? from Miami. She's from Where? Miami. Where? Where is she from? Estamos buscando un lugar porque tenemos where is she from? She's from Miami, right? In the next one, we have three options, right? What, how, and where? Her first name, it's Celia. What's, What's her first What's, name? ¿Cuál es su primer nombre? Porque si dijéramos, how is her, how is her first name? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo está su primer nombre? Ay, bien. Está bien. <laughs> and where is her first name? Tony. We don't know, right? Where is her first name? I don't know. There in her name. We never know. What's her first name? ¿Cuál es su primer What's nombre? Her? Right? And in this one, you say, the two students over there, their names are Jeremy and Karen, right? Si decimos, what are the two students over there? It's like, ¿qué son? ¿Qué son los dos estudiantes de ella? Estudiantes, oh, right? Who are? <laughs> who who are? are, right? Who are the two students over there? Their names are Jeremy and Karen. Si decimos, how are the two students over there? ¿Cómo están? Pues yo los veo bien. So, how are the two students over there? Más o menos. Uno estaba guapo, el otro más o menos. <laughs> so, you say, who? Who are the two students over there? And the last one we have, they are from Vancouver, Canada. A place. Where are they? Where are they from? They are from Vancouver, Canada. And the last one, you say, they like, they are shy but very friendly. How are they like? Where are they what? like? Or what are they, they like? Who are? How? How are they uh, like? Yeah. How? How are they like? Como son? They are shy, but very friendly. Hey, Rene, you have your Christmas tree already. That's fantastic. <laughs> nice. What? Right, and here you have the answers. And for sure, they will be what is shy? correct. Sorry? What is shy? Ah, like. Shy. Shy. Uh -huh. shy. Ah, shy, shy. shy, shy. Timido. Mm, no, oh. shy. It's like, I no, no. Okay, el van a otro. Shy. They are shy, but very friendly. That is okay. the meaning of shy. The next one. This is the second exercise that we had. The next one was the one that we already did with the yes, no questions with B, right? Complete answers. And for the last exercise, I am going to go to my PowerPoint. Here, what is in a name? The first question that I have for this one it's the following. Do you like your name? Yes or no? Do you like so, your so. name? So so. Why or well, why not? My second, my second, my second name. I don't like. Why? Because I don't. Know. I I feel so old. What is your second name? Robert. Roberto, Don yeah. Roberto, right? Don Roberto, right? What about the next one? What about the other ones? Do you like your names? Yes, no? Or you are okay yes, with I that? I am like. To say, I like, right? Yes, I like it. 
Yes, I like it. I love second name. You like your second name, Albida. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I, I like it because it's not common. Yes. That is very good. I like that one because it's not common. What about the rest? I don't like my first name. Why? I don't like. So just don't like. It's... But everyone calls me that <laughs> in my world. Yes. <laughs> and and it is it is curious because names like yours, they don't say only Anna or only Beatriz. They say Hola Ana Beatriz. And they use the two names, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's curious. Yaritza, do you like your name? Yes, I like. Yeah, it's not common, right? It's not common. That's pretty <laughs> awesome. So, um, well, I, I have said this before, but I don't like my first name because, no, I, I don't like it. It's Evelyn. Evelyn Natalie. So, oh, my mother's, uh, my mother's, my mother is, it's, my mother is Evelyn too. Oh, really? I yeah. feel, I feel that Evelyn is very serious. Evelyn is yeah, the, my the mother serious. Is really serious. Oh, so you see, so you see, I am not kidding. Evelyn. Oh, you see, you see. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. And I consider that uh, Natalie, it's like friendly and everything, but Evelyn is like the serious part of me, right? That's the one that makes the exams, right? Teacher Evelyn. But teacher Natalie is the, the nice one and the cool, the cool teacher, right? But teacher Evelyn, huh? hmm? so Senora Brava. <laughs> hey, Evelyn, you know. Uh -huh. Evelyn, is, Evelyn is mother and wife, and Natalie is teacher. Is the teacher, exactly. <laughs> right. Yeah, Evelyn is the wife, the angry one. <laughs> So, you know, um, I have to wear glasses for the computer, right? And when I am like this, I am teacher Evelyn. Hmm. You are teacher Evelyn. <laughs> but if I am like this, I am teacher Nati. That's what my kid says, right? Si mi hijo se asoma y ve que estoy con lentes, me dice, uy, Evelyn. And he leaves. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, and when I when he enters to the to the office here, like to the mini office that I have, and I don't have the glasses, he's like, hola Natalie. <laughs> it's very funny. So names give specific details about your personality. Do you have a specific meaning on your name? Tiene un nombre específico su nombre, or it's just because of a family member? Yeah, it's my name is uh, for my aunt, no, my uncle. For your uncle, good. Yeah. What about you, Rene? It has a specific meaning or it's because of a family member? Uh, my father's calls Rene too, and my grandfather too. Uh, okay, and the my father of... is a member of family, yeah. Okay, it's, it's family tradition. What about you, Elmer? Mr. Elmer Celaya, a la una, a la dos, a las tres, anda trayendo las pupusas. Okay. <laughs> Ernesto Mazariego, is it because of a meaning or it's because of a family tradition? Your name. Mm -hmm. Ernesto, Ernesto is with Elmer. I am know, sorry. he's there. <laughs> ah, they are there. Ah, like, ya venimos, <laughs> Ajá. Ah, mi nombre es como, como una okay. combinación. Eh, okay. Mi abuelo por parte de papá se llamaba Carlos y mi abuelo por parte de mamá se llama Ernesto, entonces es Carlos Ernesto. Sí. Good, very good. What about you, Elmer? In my in my name my name is because eh, my mother like the name. Ah, okay. We need to find the reasons, right? <laughs> yeah, it's like, I, I found a meme one day that said like, eh, yo me llamo María Guadalupe, pero nadie en mi familia se llama María Guadalupe. Encontré las cartas de mi papá y su ex se llamaba María Guadalupe. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> Because of a family, right? Because of the family <laughs> things. 
Well, uh, my name is, well, in my case, Evelyn. It's because my grandmother is Evelia. And thank God I was Evelyn, right? Me tocó barato todavía. Right, Evelyn. <laughs> because Evelia is very strong and angry and everything. Si creo que Evelyn es serio, Evelia would be worst. But that's the things about the name. So let's read about the information for the names. Here we have it. And it says, what's in a name? What's in a name? And it goes like this. Your name is very important. When you think of yourself, you probably think of your name first. Right now, the two most popular names for babies in the United States are Jacob for boys and Emily for girls. Why are these names popular? And why are some names unpopular? Names can become popular because of famous actors, TV or book characters, or athletes. Popular names suggest very positive things. Unpopular names suggest negative things. Surprisingly, people generally agree on the way they feel about names. Here are some common opinions about names from a recent survey. What are the meaning of this? What is the meaning of George? Uh -huh. What is the meaning of ¿Sí? George? Jorge? Yeah. Average, Average or, or boring, right? Boring. Yeah, it's like, eh. ah, Jorge. Eh. Average, what is boring. What is average? Promedio. No. No, so como el top one, no, so como el top zero, but so like, meh, kind of. So, so. Tibio. <laughs> average. Tibio. Tibio. <laughs> Tibio. <laughs> yeah, que, que, que yuca definición. Que, que eso, no son ni frío ni calor, son tibio. Right? Jacob. What is the meaning of Jacob? Someone... Creative and friendly. Creative and friendly, right? Creative and friendly. What about Michael? Good looking, looking and athletic. Good looking and athletic. Good looking athletic. Imagine the poor Jorge. <laughs> Average, boring. And Michael, good Average. looking, athletic, handsome, and everything. What about Stanley? Nerdy, serious. Serious. Uh -huh. Nerdy, very intelligent. What about the girls? For Betty. Uh, uh, Old-fashioned uh, old 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 and average. If not, ugly Betty. Betty la fea. You see? <laughs> ugly Betty, old-fashioned, average. Click. Uh, <laughs> what about Emily? Independent. Independent. And Adventurous. Dependent. Adventurous. Adventurous. What about Jane? Plain and ordinary. Plain, ordinary. ordinary. plain and ordinary. Do you know what's the meaning of plain? No. Simple. Simple. Plain. Simple. simple. But simple in the bad way, right? Simple, it's like plain, plana, like neutral, right? Plain and ordinary. What about Nicole? He's fake in his name. Intelligent. Yeah, beautiful intelligent. and intelligent, right? No, he's fake this name. Why? Because my ex <laughs> didn't be that. Didn't be that. <laughs> Don't cry, my friend. Don't cry. <laughs> Well, but nah. it depends. It depends. Yeah. Never cry. <laughs> it depends. Porque imagínense que de repente eh, el novio se llame Jorge. Al principio de la relación, Jorge will be good, good looking and fantastic <laughs> and everything. But at the end, average. Boring. <laughs> so, <laughs> depending on the side of the relationship, right? It's like, yeah, yeah, depending. Si estamos comenzando, todo va a ser beautiful good color looking, de rosa. amazing color and de then rosa. average average <laughs> <laughs> right so it depends it depends it true. depends yeah quizás al principio nicole era beautiful and, and intelligent and now <laughs> plain and ordinary 
<laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's a devil. It's a devil, right? Like the <laughs> devil. La la what is Voldemort. It? La Voldemort. <laughs> la Voldemort. Yeah. Si alguna vez no se siente importante, recuerde que si en alguna plática lo mencionan, hmm, they fight. La innombrable. <laughs> Ah, te, la, te acordaste de ella en tu clase. Yo vi el video. <risa> no, a todas las novias del mundo estamos dando ejemplos nada más. Ok, don't fight. Thank you. Commercial. Why do parents give their children unpopular names? The biggest reason is tradition. Many people are named after a family member. And of course, opinions can change over time. A name that is unpopular now might become popular in the future. Or like the case of Nicole, a name that was popular in the past, it's going to become unpopular now. We never know. That's good news for all the George and Betty's out there. So according to the information that I have just read, do you have questions about meanings? Tienen preguntas acerca del vocabulario? Questions? Yes or no? Everything is clear? Clear like horchata or clear like What's water? What's the meaning uh, survey? Survey, good question. In a recent survey, you have, uh, Brenda, uh, do you like red or black? Give me one, red, okay. Okay, uh, do you like cats or dogs? Dogs. Do you like blue or pink? Pink. Pink. Okay, that's a survey, right? Esa es una encuesta. That's a survey. Oh. It's an example. Uh, Thank you. What is suggest? Suggest. Uh, sugieren. Uh, okay. Suggest is sugieren. Any other question? Questions? Questions? Uh -huh. No more? And so, uh, esa palabra dice que dice surprising. Surprisingly. Surprisingly. Sorprendentemente. Ajá, surprisingly. Surprisingly. And surprisingly, no. I am going to give you a tip, right? This one, the ones that finishing mm -hmm. Lee. Casi la mayoría de palabras que terminan en Lee son... Eh, Adverbios de modo, you say surprisingly. Lentemente. De manera sorprendente. If you say beautifully, de manera bella or bellamente, right? It's like seriously, okay. seriamente, right? Okay. Surprisingly, surprisingly, sorprendentemente. Curiously, curiosamente, right? That's the meaning of this type of words, right? The Lee ending. So, based on this one, we're going to answer a couple of questions that I have here. Tell me, your name is part of your identity, yes or no? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. People, yes. People feel the same way about a particular name. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. In some cases, it's like, yeah, yeah it's normal for everybody. Imagine if you are called Usnavi. Usnavi, it was I, like, uy, uy, what I have a two friends that their name is Derek and Derek. Derek and Derek, huh? So, and the feeling and, is like, uh huh? And my other friend's name is uh, uh, Ericsson. Ericsson, like the phone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, in some cases, you can feel, uh, you can feel like um, it can be like a surprise for you and a specific name, or you can feel like bad about one specific name, or you can feel neutral, neutral about a specific name. Because here in El Salvador, we have a lot of Marias, right? And it's normal for us. In this case, people often feel the same way about a particular name. It can be yes. Yeah, but imagine if you are called Bernardino, you'll be like, 
Okay, qué extraño, right? It would be strange for everybody. Boys' names are more popular than names girls. True or false? False. False, right? They are equally popular. People are often named after a family member. True. True, right? True. The case, the case of yeah. Rene. Rene, it's the In grandfather. Right, your your case, Eric. My case because it was because of my grandmother, and opinions can change about names. Yes, it's true. Yeah, it's true. Oh, yes. You are a good true. example. <laughs> it's true, right? It's true. So in this case, we have the last exercise of the platform about the names, and we can go on this one, right? This was the last exercise of the platform what it's in a name. So that's why I took you back on this one. And as you say, your name is part of your identity. People often feel the same way about a particular name. Yeah, it's true. Boys' names are more popular than girls' names. It's false. People are often named after a family member. Yes. And opinions can change. Yes. So this is the first section of the platform. It is not that difficult, but we need to cover all the exercises. Important, after every video, you have a little activity that you have to do in the post, okay? Siempre es importante que al final del video se fijen en la pregunta que les exponen para que ustedes también puedan participar de los posts, aunque sea un post corto el que hagan, pero siempre participen. Tal vez esto no sea tan evaluado como los exámenes, pero sí es importante, ¿ok? So, here we have, and, ok. So, participate on the posts, right? It, it is very important. And for sure, the evaluations are also necessary. The next section or the next part of the of the units are related with the professions, the occupations and simple present. Tienen conocimiento acerca de cómo transformar oraciones en presente simple? Yes, no. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Okay. Good. So this is what we're going to work on today's lesson. We're going to go over activities, jobs, and occupations. And we're going to go over these ones, right? Here, we are going to work on WH forms as well. These are the evaluations. Si pueden, ya después pueden trabajar en esta sección. Si ya terminaron la 1, terminen eh, el día de mañana la 2 para que puedan avanzar en su progreso. Okay? And here on these ones, we only have three exams. Let's go to the explanation for us to cover it in a better way, okay? Here, for sure, remember the agreements. I didn't mention them to you today, but they are very important, right? Practice your English, be respectful, attend your classes, keep your cameras active, uh, work on the platform, and keep an active and cooperative activity in the WhatsApp group, okay? This is something that you have to keep in mind every day. I have three questions here. What is your occupation? Where do you work? And what do you do? These are the three questions that we are going to answer right now. And I am going to add some information here. Add your work. What is your occupation? Where do you work? And what do you do at your work? The last question refers to the activities that you do. I have here my answers. I am a teacher. I work at home and I teach English. And at, this is at night, right? But during the day, I am a principal in an academy. I supervise everything and I work with my teachers. So during the day and during the night, I am a teacher, I work at home and I teach English. So that's what I do. I need you to copy the questions and to answer the questions about yourself because you are going to give me the answers for the group, okay? Todos las copian, todos las contestan porque le voy a ir preguntando ahí a, a unos cuantos. 
So, creo que todos tienen su cuadernito por ahí. Ocupémoslo. Go ahead. What is your occupation? Where do you work? And what do you do at your work? Your occupation, the place, and the activities. Go ahead. I am going to give you one minute to answer, and later I am going to ask you. Okay? Tienen un minuto para contestarlo. work in your notebook and then I am going to ask one by one. Finish? Did you finish? Yes? Yeah, I finished. Okay. Go ahead. Eric, you can be the first one and then Eric is going to choose the next person. Okay. Go ahead. You ask, you ask me? I am going to ask the questions. Chan, chan, chan. Eric, what is your occupation? I am studying. I am a student. Yep. I am a student. Where do you study? I study in Mass Ferrer University. What do you do at your university? I study idiom, specific English. Okay, I study languages. Languages. Uh, language. okay. I study languages, specifically English. Okay, very good. Excellent. Thank you, Eric. Thank you. Eric, who's next? Ah, ah, sorry. So, una vieja conocida que hay aquí es, where is Grisia? Ah, it's Grisia Alvarenga. <laughs> it sounds horrible. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lo de vieja, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> <laa> creo que fue, creo que fue el, el mensaje correcto come la on, palabra Mary, come on, la palabra. Mary. es una vieja conocida ajá <laughs> ok uh, I know Chris is very young, young and beautiful so don't worry <laa> no una, sé si no me expliqué bien okay. una antigua amiga una antigua amiga mm -hmm. ¿verdad? Sí, así. Vieja. No es lo mismo no, antigua no. amiga que vieja. Una, una vieja amiga, va. Así. Okay. Pues que una amiga. Una amiga. Que que, una amiga. <laughs> leave, it, leave it like that. Una amiga. Mi amiga. Sorry, Cristian. Cristian, go ahead. Where do you work? No, I first, am, I, what, what is your occupation? I am a collection assistant. I am a what? Collection assistant. Collection assistant. Assistant, yes. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Collection assistant. In Co okay, college so assistant. Ah, college? College or college? No, college. Como una auxiliary account. Bye. Ah, oh. ah, mm -hmm. ah. Auxiliary account. Oh, auxiliary account. That's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because the other mm -hmm. one will be like accountants. Assistant, accountant, mm. good. The next mm. one, where do you work? I work at the Prensa Gráfica. I work at La Prensa Gráfica, okay. Mm -hmm. Pictures mm. for La Prensa Gráfica. <laughs> what do you do at your work? Uh, 
I call uh, customers. Oh, you call the customers. Yes. You call the customers. That's very good. You call the customers. Excellent. Crisia, who's next? <laughs> um, Brené Marías. Brené Marías. Go ahead. Oh, no, no hubo viejo ni vieja. Okay, aquí Brené Marías. <laughs> what is your occupation? I'm informatic. You are an informatic. You, are yes. you an, an engineer? Are you a programmer? Or programmer. A programmer. Good. Where do you work? <laughs> I work uh, at the San Miguel Hospital in Cincinnati City. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. San, that's the name, San Miguel Hospital. Yes, ah, in okay. City. That sí is por... a stranger. I know. <laughs> sí, porque decimos, at San Miguel's Hospital? In San Sonata City. <laughs> yes, I know. Okay. What do you do at your work? At a pharmacy and sell drugs. Okay. You are in a pharmacy and you sell, but you are a programmer. Yes, I know. It's a stranger. I know. <laughs> the well, pandemic. <laughs> no, but it, yeah. Change everything. Yeah, but it's good because, I mean, you help there. You are in the pharmacy or, uh huh, and you sell drugs. In this case, you sell medicine. Oh, <clears throat> drugs, drugs. <laughs> yeah, it's it is good. Medicine and drugs. Yeah, yeah really. It is <laughs> legal drug. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a drug man. <laughs> you are you are a drugstore. You are a drugstore yes. uh, person. But in this case, because it it sounds at least in our country, right? For Americans, well, it will sound different as well so it's like I think I'm, I'm a narco traffic <laughs> <laughs> <It's a joke. laughs> yeah it's like i sell drugs it's like what it's like, no medicines and everything <laughs> ah okay thank you very much yeah it is very curious the word drugstore uh, in, in english because it's a, it's a store where you can sell where you can buy drugs but as medicines right yes it's, it's, not, it's... not drogeria right but it's they and create legal, medicine man. and it's legal yeah. yes. <laughs> so you sell everything right and you are a programmer that's fantastic Rene, yes. who's next uh let me check um uh, adela martin adela martinez what is your occupation okay um facturador in english we had this question the previous time. It was like the, um, well, you were, you are a bill creator in this case, a bill, the bills, you, you create the bills for the place. But you told me, I remember the last time that you were also in charge of the accounting. Yes or no? Like Asha? No, because facturadora de contratos. Ah, so it is not about the factura de productos. They are about no. contracts. Facturación de contratos a clientes. Oh, so maybe you are related with customer service, with accounting, with everything, with human resources. It's like a complete mix, your work. I am mil usos. <laughs> yeah. Va a estar con recursos humanos, con contaduría, con esto, con el otro. With you are complete. Yeah, she's very complete, right? She's very complete. Where, <laughs> where do you work? I work in Adventure. 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 Say, I work at, yo trabajo en, y you say the place. And what do you do at your work? I build you, you, you create contracts, uh-huh. And you create bills. And you attend customers. <laughs> My God, you do a little bit of everything. Check out, check out the contract. You check the contract, my God. You create the bills and you create the contracts and you check them. It's like, <laughs> it's like contratada. You do everything. 
That's very good. <laughs> there you go. Adela, thank you very much. I need one more. Who else? Who is? I need one more Gustavo. person. Gustavo Adolfo. <laughs> Otro viejo conocido. Oh, <laughs> Hello, Gustavo. <laughs> Gustavo, what is your occupation? I am an accounting student. You are an accountant student. Yeah. Good, very good. Where do you study? I study at currently at UCA. UCA? At, at UCA University. Good. Yes. And what do you do in your university? Well, in my university in this moment, um, is the period for the exams. Uh, it's the and, finals. Yes, and in the work, me I, too, bro. I, I, la veo verde. No sé cómo decir eso. La veo blanca. <laughs> it's green. You say it's green, right? You say, uh, well, it's a lot of work, right? It's a lot of work. It's so like it's green because you are missing many other things that you need to do. But do you study and work, or do you only study? Uh, the, I study and work. So where do you work? At work at Sportline America. I work at Sportline. That's very good. So you okay. see, I imagine that this season is very difficult for you, right? The end <laughs> of the year, it will be it's very fun. difficult. It's fun, for sure. So thank you very much for my volunteers. Kind of dedocratic, but it's good, right? Fueron voluntarios dedocráticos. Porque les tocó, ni modo, les tocó. I have here a conversation. And I am going to have, let me see, Sarai and Albid practicing the conversation. Go ahead. Jason, where do you work, Andrea? I work at... Perdón. No. Okay, uh, aquí no ha pasado nada. Okay, let's do it again. One, two, and... Sí, Saraí, you are Andrea. Saraí, you are Andrea. And Albid, you are Jason. One, two, and three. Hey, hombre. Por eso no nos sale la película, ya ven. One, two, and three. Action. Where do you work, Andrea? Que se nos congeló, Andrea. Ok. There you go. Yes, no. Hello, hello, hello. No, no, hay que Hola, hola, hola. Sí, si sí, no desactivamos la cámara un ratito para que no nos coma el ancho de banda. Ok, vamos. Ok, there you go. Uh, y ahora, okay. esa toma cuatro. Action. Ok. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas. Oh, really? What do you do there? Listen, teacher. Yes. Hello. Yes, yes. We can listen. Yes. Oh, really? What do you do there? I am, I am a guild. I am a guild. A guy. I take people on tour. To country is South American like oh, Peru. Oh, interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student. Um, I have a part-time job too. Oh, when do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Hamburger Heaven. Ah, uh, sorry, Hamburger Eve. Heaven. 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 Very good. Claps for friends. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice. Let's go with Rosa Amaya and Rene Varillas. Go ahead. One, two, three. Action. I am Jason. Yes. Okay, what do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Good Travel. Already? What do you do there? I 
will a day people on tours the countries in South America like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great It is a great job. Okay, what happened? What? Fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger heaven. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, I have. Loteria. Yes, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> tengo mi instante aquí que me trae la lotería. Go ahead, hit it. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, honey. Go, go, go. <laughs> sí, siempre mi visitante viene aquí a, a media clase. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Oye, la vez pasada eran tarjetas, hoy son lotería. It is very important when we work in conversations in English to give the correct intonation because it is what it's going to give you the feeling of the conversation. If we have, where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours uh, to countries in South America, like Peru, right? Oh, really? For you to sound interested in the topic, right? If you say, oh, really? Mm, really? Huh? Really? It's not that interesting, right? I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. It is different if you say, imagine if you are like telling, right? Si empiezan a contarle a usted, usted y mira, y es super chivo y bien grande, y que no sé qué, el, el trabajo es fantástico y me encanta. Y que no... How interesting. Ya no te cuento nada. <laughs> that will be the answer of that. Say, oh, how interesting for you to continue receiving more information. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. That's when you really enjoy the, the job. But if I say, yeah, it's a really great job. I love it. <laughs> so you don't love it that much, right? So you have to put the feeling on the conversation. And what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job too, right? I'm a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven, okay? Go after me. I am going to start and then you repeat after me. Where do you work, Andrea? Where, where do, do you, you work, work Andrea? 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 Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. I work, I work at Thomas, Thomas Cook, Cook Travel. Travel. Oh, really? Oh, oh really? really? Oh, really? <laughs> what do you do there? What do you do, do there? there? there. I'm, a guide. I'm a guide. I'm a guide. Guide. Okay, be careful guide. with the word. Guide. 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 Don't, don't confuse it. I take people on tours. To countries, take, take, take people on tours to, 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 to countries in, in South America, South like Peru. America, like Peru. It's in South America, like, like Peru. Peru. How interesting! Like Peru. How, How interesting. 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 interesting! Yes, it's a great job. I love it. Yes, yes it's, a, it's great, a great great job. job. I love it. I love it. Great job. And what do you do? And what do you do? What do you do? I'm a student. I'm a student. And I have a part-time job too. And, and I, I have, have a part-time part part job, job too. Oh, where do you work? Oh, oh where, where do, do you, you work? work? In a fast food restaurant. In a, In a fast, fast, food fast food restaurant. restaurant. Yeah, fast Which restaurant? Food restaurant? Which, Which restaurant? restaurant? Hamburger restaurant. Heaven. Hamburger, Hamburger Heaven. heaven. McDonald's. <laughs> McDonald's, <laughs> come on, <laughs> hamburger heaven. Okay, uh, let me see. All the boys in my class, all the boys in the class are, are Jason, and all the ladies are Andrea. Okay, 
All the boys are Jason and all the ladies are Andrea. One, two, and three. Where do you, Where work, do you work, Andrea? 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 I, work I work at, at Thomas Cochatrava. Oh, oh, really? Oh, really? What, what do you do there? What do you, ah. I am a guy. I'm a guy. I they travel all sorts of countries in South America, like Peru. How is the oh, winter season? Yes, yeah. it's, it's great. Great. Oh, I love it. I love and it. And what do you and do? What do, you do? I am started. Uh -huh. I have a, I have a part time job too. Oh, oh. oh. Do you oh. Work? Do you work? what do you work? In a fast food restaurant. restaurant. Which restaurant? Which restaurant? Hamburger heaven. Heaven. Very good job. Now we're going to switch. The boys are going to be Andrea and the ladies are Jason. Okay? okay. Ladies, tienen que sonar como un Jason. No, como, what do you do, Andrea? No. Where do you work, Andrea? And the boys, you have to sound like Andrea, right? I work at Thomas <laughs> Cook Travel. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. What the hell is Where do you work, Andrea? See you tomorrow. <laughs> See you tomorrow. One, two, and three. Go ahead. Go. Where do, Where do you, you work, work Andrea? Andrea? I, I work, work at Thomas Cook Travel. travel. <laughs> oh, oh, really? What, what do you do? Really? What do you do there? I'm a guy. I am a I guy. guy. People, I people are doing the things. I'm a sex American. I'm a friend. Oh, 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 Yes, it's, it's great. great. I, I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm a I'm student, student and I have a part-time job. Part -time job too. Oh, 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 where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Hamburger Heaven. Editarla del video, por favor. Y hay que editarla. Ah, <risa> no, Un colorón, por favor. Editores no. de Insaport, corten esa parte, porfa. No, no yo sí. Si estaban estresados. Si estaban estresados, ya se le quitó el estrés. It was so funny. Yes. Si andaban enojados, ya se le quitó el estrés. <risa> That was fun. <laughs> that was good. It was good. Excellent job. Yay. <laughs> Me encanta cuando los estudiantes entran en el character sin, sin pena, sin nada. Yeah. Así es. Y así aprendemos el idioma, haciendo, haciéndolo como niños chiquitos. ¿eh? Nos, nos divertimos, disfrutamos, y ustedes también llevan esto a la práctica. So, Before we go, I need to explain specifically about the rules for the third person singular. This is going to be the main thing in tomorrow's class. So if you can do a little research on this one tomorrow, it will be fantastic, okay? Si se pueden ir a dar una suleidita, una repasadita de third person singular, que es como bien basic, pero importante. So I will be very glad with that. I need you to do your homework for tomorrow to investigate the rules for third person singular. And this applies only for he, she, and it, right? He, she, and it that are the third person. In many of the cases, you cannot use the same form with I, you, we, and they, and he, she, and it. Like in the cases for the normal information, you can say, I study, uh -huh, but you are talking about yourself. You are talking about you, you say, I study. But if you are talking about your mother or your father, you say, in the case of your mother, you say, she studies, studies. right? Studies. And this is just the rule for the third person singular in these normal activities. If I say, they work, but if you are talking about he, so you say, he works, right? And the, uh, the verb changes, the pronunciation changes as well. Many people say, sí, ya había esas reglas la otra vez y lo ocupamos para los plurales. 
but in these cases, we don't use it with the plurals. Con plurales hacemos los nouns. Los nouns son los que sufren los cambios en el, la cuestión de plurales. Pero en la cuestión de simple present, los que sufren los cambios son los verbos. Okay? So in this case are the activities that we do. Work, works. Eat, eats. Play, plays. Okay? Porque no podemos ocuparla en una oración que yo diga, por ejemplo, we cook and he cook. Right? Maybe you can get the meaning, but it's not grammatically correct. So you say he cooks, right? And the sentence will be correct in this form. So please, my dear students, I need you to go and review a little bit. Okay, vamos a ir y repasar un poquito las reglas para la clase del día de mañana. Okay, for you to be ready and for you to have all the necessary information for uh, the class. Third person singular rules. And please, if you can continue advancing in the platform, that will be fantastic for you to have sections one and two completed. The information about the third person singular, it's also in the platform. So you can find the video there for you to have the information for tomorrow's class. Okay, so please be ready with this for tomorrow. I am very glad that you laugh and you have fun in the class. And tomorrow I am going to meet you for another class. Okay, so have a beautiful night and I'm going to see you tomorrow with more things to learn. Enjoy your night and rest a lot. Bye. Good night. Ya los mando bien felices y contentos y relajados. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. No, come on. Bye bye. Take care. Bye.